Good morning, folks. We have some interesting things to hit today. We'll, of course, be looking at the sun. We'll peek in on a couple things that happened yesterday in Southern California. We'll have a look at solar control of temperatures and also of something a little bit scarier. Let's start with our star, and we find the last 24 hours was mostly quiet. We have expected a break from the flaring and eruptive activity, and we've got it. C-class range solar flares only, slightly amplified solar wind, but with geomagnetic conditions remaining quiet. This break in activity may not last much longer as more sunspots are returning to the Earth-facing half, and we do have a few plasma filaments as well, but the watch remains relatively low today. So, let's go ahead and shift to the weather, where the flooding from Hillary's remnants is pretty severe. It has caused mudslides and loose debris as well, and the threat isn't over yet. Damage totals can only be guessed at this point, but the people got another scare there yesterday as a rare earthquake struck west-northwest of Los Angeles. The statistics on heavy rain and California earthquakes continue to be on target. Hopefully nothing bigger is on its way. Good study up next on the temperature fluctuations and their oscillations in time based on tree ring data. Their analysis ties those fluctuations to solar activity and atmospheric coupling with the ocean which several past studies have also tied to solar activity. Lastly, folks, we've seen studies like this before, and it's always good to revisit the topic. There appears to be an impact of solar and geomagnetic activity on homicide. They found the correlation in both the United States and Europe, and they believe they can predict statistical peaks based on the solar cycle. We'll go over exactly why this is the case in a special video soon, tying it in with previous studies on the topic. But for now, yes, as has been previously suggested, the sun and magnetic field impact our psychological condition. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.